Well, my sunlight is almost completely gone. Uh, so the lighting might get a little dark here, but I really, really wanted to uh, finish off the, the, the light of the day with recording a video for you guys. And I want to start a new series or start a series. I haven't actually started any series, but I want to start a series on uh, sharing our story or sharing my story. Um, I want to start becoming more open with you all about who I am and being more authentic with you, to be frank, to be perfectly frank. I really want to allow you guys to see who I am and that means on all aspects of my life. Um, and I figured one way that I could do this is to share my story. But to share my entire story in four minutes just doesn't do me justice. It doesn't do anyone justice. I can give you a summary of who I am. And that's pretty cool, but I really like the idea of, of giving you a bit of who I am piece by piece, kind of like a puzzle. You see the entire me, but by giving you bits and pieces of, of my story through memories that, I've, that I would like to share with you, I can, I, I can add value not only to my life, but to, to others. I find that sharing, talking about my life or talking about memories in general, and it might not just be mine. I might actually bring a few guests on and, and share a few of their stories as well. Because I really feel that there is inspiration in our stories, that there is healing, that there is encouragement, that there is nuggets of, of gold and treasures that can be revealed by telling our story, not just to the people that we're telling the story to, but to ourselves as well. And storytelling has really been a part of our, our world and our cultures and our uh, humanity for as long as I can remember different cultures, different ethnic groups, different uh, places around the world, there are ways in which we tell stories. And we do it to keep a legacy, to leave a legacy, to teach, to, like I said, to heal, to... Um, there's so many reasons why a person should share their story so this next so this series that I would like to to go into will be about sharing stories memories kind of like never-ending story where that that boy oh I can't even remember how it all went all I remember I can just I can picture it in my head this one part where I think it's the evil person is collecting the memories of this boy getting him to forget about his reality so he can't go home and all those precious memories and, and that's exactly what they are our memories are bits and pieces to who we are to our life story and it's within those memories within those stories that there's so much value and that is what I want to share within this next series that I am putting together so with that, I want to share uh, a story with you. Um, so I grew up in a first generation Christian home, uh, making uh, myself and my siblings a second generation Christians. And one Sunday, we went to go visit a different church, not a church that we usually go to. I think it was for one of my aunts, to be honest. And I was quite young at the time couldn't have been more than eight, if that. But I remember the lady at the front calling all the children up to, to come and listen to a story. And she had 
two bags, paper bags. One was very pretty, very neat, decorated like, like a Christmas present. And the other one lo looked like it came out of the garbage and it had been saturated with uh, moldy old banana peels and coffee grinds and all that stuff and and it looked really gross like I didn't I don't think anyone wanted to touch it and the story that she was telling was about judging pretty sure it was about judging and she asked all of us kids who would like to have this bag the nice pretty one and of course we're all raising our hands oh I want it I want it and then she asked who would like to have this bag the one that looked like it came right out of the garbage and we're like eh, not really I think there was one maybe two kids that put their hands slowly up like if I have to I'll take it <laughs> and the lady said I, I will make you a deal if I give you these bags, whoever gets them has to share what's ever in them. So the person that got the really nice, pretty bag opened it up and there was nothing really cool in there. Maybe some old dirty socks or... I don't even think there was anything in there to be honest because it was a real letdown. It really was. And then the kid that got this ugly, disgusting, garbage, like stained bag, opened it up and his face just lit up and he was like, oh my goodness. He dumped it out and there was a pile of candies. And we all got to have a little bit of candies. He got to keep most of them because he actually was brave enough to take that bag. And the lady that was telling the story made her point that you can't judge on the outside. You have to judge that, that you can't judge every book by its cover. You can't judge every bag by what it looks like because what's inside may not be at all what it looks like on the outside. I learned a very, very valuable lesson that day about uh, not judging and to, to um, appreciate um, the, the kindness also of that boy for sharing. Anyways, that's my story and it definitely played a huge role in my life and I hope you like it. And I hope it adds some value to you as well. So I am going to uh, end this video and I will see you in the next one. If you found any value in this video, please like, um, maybe even consider subscribing because I am definitely going to be posting more uh, share your story um, videos for this series. Anyways. I totally say anyways way too much. <laughs> Have yourself a great day and I will see you later. Bye for now.